All right, YouTube, this is Three Sons RC, and uh, we're just here today to kind of talk about a quick tire repair. Y'all kind of shredded your tires every once in a while for your RC truck, and uh, I ran into a chain link fence today with mine and did this little gouge right here. Now, you can't really see it too well um, because I've kind of plunged it in there pretty good, but when you rip it apart, the lips kind of tear in different directions, and it will shred, and uh, what you want to do first is um clean it with some isopropyl alcohol with a cloth um, you can use a towel to clean all the edges inside and out really good so that way um there's there's no edges that have any dust or dirt residue on there so it's nice and clean what you want to have is uh ideally something like this um, you can do like a ca glue um but this is um a carbon and rubber toughened ic2000 you can probably get your local hobby store i got some at hobby town props to dave Thank you, in Augusta, Georgia. And um, basically, you want to have that because it's it's strengthened with rubber and it flexes somewhat and it has that carbon in there to help with the strengthening of it. it dries really fast. You want to be able to, to uh, work really quickly with it. And you want to maybe have like a tray to kind of put some down in there if you want to. Um, and with a screw, you can kind of dab it and put it on there. Um, kind of watch this tip from Kevin Talbot. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is uh, first, you know, obviously I've already cleaned it really well, but when they rip, they rip in all different crazy edges a lot of times, and there'll be an edge going this way or that way in all sorts of different ways. And so you have to kind of stretch it in different directions to uh, to get the teeth to go back in the right holes so it sits kind of flush. You want it to be as flush and smooth as it can. You can kind of see, you can't really tell that there's a tear that's that bad that's right there, but it's a pretty big tear. You can see the foam and everything through it. So you kind of play with it enough, pull it and stretch it in a different direction so it sits nice and flush. That way the glue is going to hold better. Um, you could do this with bigger tears. Um, you could actually handle some pretty rough stuff. Now, if it's really, really bad, you're not going to be able to get too many runs out if there's only so much this glue can do. But I'm expecting this one to pretty much hold for a long time. So I've already cleaned it, saved time on that. So what we're going to do first is just kind of hit the high points. Um, you're not going to hit the whole thing first. It's small enough. I can probably just hit the whole thing, but I'm going to kind of pretend like it's a longer, a bigger one. So you can kind of see what would you do if it was a bigger tear. Um, you'll take the glue and you just, you'll see there's, there's a cut here, here, and here, and here. And I'm just going to kind of hit a couple points, you know, almost like you're tack welding. And I, it's this absolutely small enough. I can just hit it one go, but I just kind of want to show you that real quick. So that you can kind of see, you don't have to get it all in one. It's a, if it's a big long rip, you can kind of tack weld it a little bit, um, and then uh, you let it dry for a little bit, make those spots hold. Only take about thirty seconds. I'm gonna hit pause for a little bit, and we'll come back for you. Okay. All right, three suns RC back. It's uh, it's about tacky. It's not totally totally dry, but it's enough to where you can get done. Um, now again, I could have totally done this whole piece with just one hit, but I kind of want to show that you can kind of tack weld it if it's like two or three inches long, two inches long. Some of you guys with X-Max tires, um, you can definitely repair and get a bunch more bashes out of your tires, especially these tires are literally brand new. So um, I've done three runs on them and I just ran into a fence. So um, what I'm going to do is gonna I'm going to uh, glue up the rest of it here. And what you don't want to do is put a ton on there. You want to kind of work it. work it around to the different cracks and it doesn't take a lot the weight of the glue will go down into the crack you don't want to just glob a whole bunch and open it up and just squirt a whole bunch in there because what's going to happen if you use too much it could potentially get to the back side of that tear and actually connect the glue with the foam uh, which could cause your tires to wobble so you don't want that to happen so obviously you're going to do 24 to 48 hours for this to um to settle you don't want to run your tires uh, ideally 48 hours let it get nice and nice and strong uh, but this is going to be a real nice strong solution for you um again because it has the carbon rubber rubber toughened on there and uh again you can bash on with these at least get a bunch more runs out of them you don't have to throw them away they're still going to work uh but yeah hopefully that helps you guys out just a quick tire solution Three Sons RC, out.